Did you know that approximately one in five men over the age of 40 has trouble with erections? And that one in 10 men cannot get an erection at all? In this video, I'm gonna talk about erectile dysfunction and why you shouldn't feel embarrassed to talk to a doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Lane from Adelaide, South Australia. Now, erectile problems are really common and the causes can be physical, psychological, or both. One of the biggest myths, however, is that erectile dysfunction can only affect older men. This is not true. And in fact, in my practice, one of the most common reasons young men in their 20s and 30s will come to see me is for erectile issues. I cannot stress enough how much stress and anxiety plays a huge role in erectile problems. And one of the hallmarks of this is when somebody says that they can maintain an erection during masturbation, but they have trouble when they're having sex with their partner. Now obviously this can lead to a really vicious cycle and the longer it goes on, the more anxious they typically will feel about it happening, the increased performance pressure, the problem will just get worse. But thankfully you don't have to suffer in silence. There's actually a number of treatments which have been proven to help in this situation. Everything ranging from behavioral strategies, psychology to medication. So don't be embarrassed to make an appointment with your GP to discuss it further. Now, as we all get older, erectile problems can become more common. And this can be due to several things, including changes to the blood vessels, supplying the penis, other medical conditions, or even post-surgery, such as in men who've had their prostate removed. Smoking and alcohol are also known to have an effect on erectile performance. One of the most important take home messages of this video is to talk to your doctor. Furthermore, you're never too old to discuss erectile dysfunction. So in summary, erectile problems are common in men of all ages. Treatment options are so extensive, everything from behavioral strategies to medication and even surgery. So have a chat with your GP for more information and stick around to watch my next video on testicular lumps by clicking the link on your screen now.